Hi guys, thank you for 5k. That is a ridiculously large amount of people and I never thought I'd get this far. Thank you so much for all your love and support, guys. So earlier I had asked for questions so that I could do like a Q&A type of thing because, you know, I wasn't sure what I was going to do for 5k. To be completely honest with you, I almost never know what I'm going to do for any sort of celebration. So I got a pretty large turnout and a pretty large number of responses, so I'll just kind of read through those and we'll see how we go. I don't know if I'll be able to get through them all in a, like, a video that's kind of, like, I want to stay under 10 minutes. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Alrighty. Okay, so how I'm going to make this work is I'm going to pick one comment that was maybe a question that only one person asked. And then go on to a more popular topic or questions. Um, I grouped some things like what's your favorite Warrior Cats book and like um, what kind of Warrior Cat do you like best? Stuff like that into groups because it makes sense to me. So I'm going to hit it as one individual question and then we move on to one of the popular groups. Well, let's get started. What did I eat for breakfast? Well, today on this day of uh, January 3rd, 2019, when I recorded this, I had an English muffin. Sometimes I tend to forget to eat breakfast, so you're lucky I got one today. When did I start animating? Well, due to, like, you know, human flaws and stuff, I tend to kind of hop around kind of the date of when I started animating. I want to say between maybe 2008 to 2010 is when I really started. I had found Scratch, which if you don't know that, that's like an online kids programming thing um, where you can make small games. For me, I made little tiny music videos that looked absolutely horrible. Um, but around 2010, Flipnote Heytenna came out, and that's on the DSi. It's a little animation studio, and that's where I'd say I really started to animate. Um, it was kind of primitive. If you know it, then you would know that it's not the best software out there. But it did work, and it's kind of led me to where I am now. Oh boy, this is like a whole string of questions here. Alright, so let's see real fast if I can answer this. Bagels. I really love kind of savory foods. So donuts are cool, but I will much prefer a bagel over one. My favorite Thomas Sanders vine, oh, that's a hard one. I really like all his story time ones. Um, it may not have been in the time of vine, but he did post around Halloween this really great vine about um, how everything becomes Halloween on October 1st. It was very good. My favorite band fluctuates. I really love the Oh Hellos. I love Mother Mother. Um, J-pop is very important to me, and in that genre, I really like Eve, and I really like Kairiki Bear. But uh, I can't pick one in particular. And then, is there one song I really want to animate but don't have time to do? If so, what is it? Great question. Uh, that fluctuates as well. So I have like 20 songs I want to animate so badly and like 20 things. Um, I've kind of started on a Hayloft PMV of Maple Shade, but I just have not gotten to it. And I really want to... I really want to make PMVs. I have a Yellow Fang PMV from, like, a year or two ago that I haven't started on either. Well, I started on it. I haven't really um, done anything with it since storyboarding. So that's a, that's a long question. <laughs> I think I could go on that for way too long, so I'm going to have to cut that off here. How did I get into Warriors? Fantastic question. And when, for that matter. Um... I could not, for the life of you, tell you when. Um, I know when I was younger, I was pretty young, I would picked up The Power of Three. I'd kind of heard about these weird cat books. I didn't know where to start, so I picked up the first uh, book in the Power of Three series and got really confused. So that kind of sparked my, hey, I really want to learn more about this because this is really confusing and I don't understand what happened. And... I picked up Into the Wild a little after that. I know that when I started animating on Flipnote Hey Tenna, that I had already been into Warrior Cats because I was making like these weird animations with these Warrior Cats that have wings and magic powers and stuff. So that may have been kind of around that area, maybe 2009-ish. Do I have any upcoming maps in the future? <laughs> nope. I don't know why you would think that. 
How do I animate so fast? Uh, so there's a real simple answer to that one. I put no effort into anything. So I try my hardest to make nice animations, but once it gets to cleaning them, my line art's not the cleanest, not the prettiest. Uh, my coloring can be a little funky. I don't strive for perfection, so I just kind of go with what I've got. And so a lot of people who will spend time tweaking things for weeks or months or whatever, uh, that's not me. And that kind of helps my workflow. I developed a really fast style to begin with because I'm impatient. So it's kind of a combination of those two. What is my best advice for animating? Well, if I could give you a two second tip to save your life, um, slow ins and slow outs. As much as uh, getting the character's movement right, getting it consistent is good, you need to have that weight there. And slow ins and slow outs will help you do that. Um, I'll try to link, I believe Tanel Flowers did a really good video on this below, but also here's a little diagram to show you kind of how it works. Okay, so about these ones, I have a confession to make. I have never watched a Shrek movie all the way through, and I also don't watch gaming channels. This is why I'm so uncultured and don't know all your young people memes, you see? Does it make you feel good to interact with your subscribers? Absolutely! I have so many sweet people subscribe to me. I have the best fan base, and I love everyone in it. Um, I wish I could interact with them more than I can. Um, I'm a little introverted, so it makes it hard sometimes. But yeah, I love all you people, and I'd love to interact with y'all as much as I can. Alrighty, so here's a truckload of Warriors questions. I knew that I was going to get a bunch of these, so I decided to just group the ones that made sense together. So let's see here. Um, let's start with, what's my favorite warrior? Yellow Fang, hands down. It's always Yellow Fang. Um, Needle Tail's a close second. I really like Needle Tail. She's kind of fun. She's, she's got some interesting morals to her. Um, but Yellow Fang will always be on top. My favorite clan, I've been in River Clan since I was born, baby. Uh, my favorite, my least favorite warrior cat character. Well, that's a hard one because I don't actually like dislike any of the characters. I was never a fan of Cloudpaw. Once he was into Cloud Tales and it was okay, but Cloudpaw was just not my favorite. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know that I have a proper answer for that one. And then, what's my favorite and least favorite book in War? Dang, main series only because I was totally about to tell you Yellow Fang's secret. So my very favorite, what is it? Shattered Sky, like the third dawn of the clans was absolutely phenomenal uh the end book for dawn of the clans as well had me in tears in the end uh dawn of the clans all the way through favorite arc baby but uh least favorite book i don't know about that one i don't know that i have a good answer for that either most of the warrior cats books i haven't read since i was like 12 so i can't i don't have a totally clear memory of that let's see here my least Whoa, my favorite villain. Okay, so that's an interesting one because I love all of the villains so much. I think I have to fight between my girl Maple Shade. I think once I start reading more of uh, Vision of Shadows, I'll probably like Sleek Whisker a lot. Haven't really gotten far enough to, you know, see how terrible she is, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. But uh, I also really love Hawk Frost. There's just something about that terrible manipulative man that is just what a dude i love hawk frost hey guys crystal colors is canceled that's all i'm gonna say on this one so inspirations is a funny one for me because i'm really inspired by all those wonderful warriors animators right you've got like jinja ninja you've got nifty you've got uh meow night riser all those people are really inspiring but the main source of my inspiration for animation, as you could call it, um, are actually animators from Japan who work on music videos. My very favorites will always be Sidu or Shidu, um, Ma, Waboku, and Wuma. And those four are absolutely fantastic. If you haven't seen any of their videos, I'll link some below so you can see them. But they're full length uh, to J-pop music. 
That's my absolute favorite thing. Someday I'd love to work on a full-length video like that, but for now, I just sit here doing maps.